Uh, my name is Emily Snooks, and I'm a public and government affairs advisor for ExxonMobil. So the reason we're having you on today is to talk about some of those things that I believe is a great sign of capitalism, where people who are uh, leaders in communities, they tend to give back to the local communities, and really that's what we have going on today. So first off, let's talk about the program that you have it, um, implemented and also uh, what type of um, events happen today. Yeah, thanks, Jason. I appreciate you uh, taking the time to talk to us about this. So specifically, what we had uh, today was we awarded two $25,000 grants to two very worthy organizations in North Dakota. And it's part of a program that we call the Give Back to the Balkan um, because North Dakota, the communities there have been so welcoming, honestly, of industry, and we really wanted to show our appreciation as a company um, uh, where organizations can apply for the $25,000 grant. And then what's really unique about it is that we have our local employees in North Dakota choose the two recipients. So today's recipients were the Ronald McDonald House Charities of Bismarck, and Community Action Partnership based in Dickinson. And was there any reason given or, or causes or just how does that, you, you mentioned the employees pick, was that right? Yes, well, we received about 34 applications from organizations in North Dakota this year, and this is only the second year that we've done this program. Uh, last year was the first year, and we received about 17 applications. So word is getting out there, which is, which is what we like to see. So folks um, write an application, and what we're looking for mainly is um, them demonstrating a need in their community and how they're going to meet that need. You know, we know that with the oil and gas industry, it brings a tremendous amount of benefits to local communities. But, of course, there are always challenges that go along with that as well, population increases and other things. Um, so these two organizations um, were very good at demonstrating uh, two particular community needs. One, the Ronald McDonald House has something called a care mobile unit. Um, it's it's able to provide preventive health care out in rural communities, which is something that was definitely needed in, I'd say, the western North Dakota area. Uh, not only that, but they provide free housing for parents that are in Bismarck because their child is hospitalized there. And actually, the Ronald McDonald House showed us their data, and 63% of folks that stayed at the Ronald McDonald House last year were from the western North Dakota area, the oil field areas. So it felt it was very important to, to give back to them. Community Action Partnership in Dickinson operates in eight counties in western North Dakota, providing everything from emergency assistance for maybe, maybe help with this month's rent or uh, giving folks access to a food pantry. And not only that, they're doing a lot for, for mental health uh, as well in that community. And also, um, they really do a lot of outreach around distracted driving as well as um, alcohol or drug-impaired driving as well. Well, that's, I, I think that's just fantastic and, and really shows leadership when, you know, we, we've got uh, energy prices are, are, are lower than what they have been in the past. And, you know, we hear the words like downturn and these types of things. But yet here's another um, example of, I call it the symbolism of the commitment by these organizations to where you're willing to continue to give back when the the you know, the press hasn't been favorable to oil prices in the last couple of years. So do you guys ever think about that as far as uh, the symbolism behind this and the commitment behind that? Well, we, we're XTO Energy in North Dakota. We operate XTO Energy, but of course we're part of ExxonMobil. We've been part of ExxonMobil for about seven years now. And we're very fortunate to be part of such a large global company that is able to maintain their charitable given, uh, giving um, depending on, you know, the fluctuations in the market. So 
that's that's always been a strong commitment of Exxon Mobil that we will always continue to give back where we have a business presence and where our employees are, are living and working. So this this has always been something that uh, the company sees as crucial to you know operating in the United States and and so that's why we have maintained programs like this. Just last year, um, you know, first responders are also we see them as incredibly important in communities. You know, safety is our number one priority, and that's where we have some common ground with our first responders. And as you know, so many are volunteer in North Dakota, so we make that a point to to invest in those as well. And just last year, it was probably more than $60,000 we donated to local volunteer first responders, and that was for training or equipment needs. So it's, it's something that we're definitely committed to that's, that's part of our business culture. And it's not only just, you know, maybe uh, giving a donation, but when Williston State College reached out to us because they needed a particular piece of equipment for their workforce development program, you know, for oil and gas, we were, of course, just eager to help because having the proper training, of course, leads to a safer workforce. So we were actually able to find this pumping unit that they needed in our field in Farmington, New Mexico, and we, we shipped it up to them so that they could use it in their program. Well, you answered the next two of my questions, so I guess we'll just go to the final question. Um, I, <laughs> uh, I, I like to give uh, guests just kind of the final thought, final answer, however direction they want to take it. So um, what, what, what is something maybe we didn't cover or you want to reiterate or uh, you just want to mention um, about what you guys have going on there? You know, I, I would like to say that I, I do visit uh, North Dakota probably about once a month, and um, I, I work in seven states out west. And I have to say that I am always just so impressed with how knowledgeable North Dakotans are about oil and gas operations. Other places I go, it seems that, you know, we're always having to cut through a lot of misinformation about hydraulic fracturing um, but never, never in North Dakota. It's, it's always so, honestly, it's heartwarming to me that it's just, just, just been such a great community that's really embraced industry and really takes it upon themselves to, to get educated about what's going on. And it, it's very refreshing that the question that I always get is, you know, when are we going to develop someone's lease in the area? So, um, you know, I, it's just always a, a joy to me to to visit that state and and to be honest this is the only place where the company does these give back to the Bakken grants these two twenty five thousand dollar grants and when I get to call those two organizations at the end of the year that, that, those are the two best phone calls I make all year so that that's always what I think of when I think of North Dakota.